You got your back up, man. I'm I'm solid. You're solid. I noticed you how you try to really on. Yeah, you're really on. I feel. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. Today we are in Lake O'Hara area. Beside, beside, behind me is Lake Oessa. Lake Oessa, that's right. Yes, and we're gonna match this wonderful epic scene with uh, rock tea. Ruo Gui Hui Yuan one of our supreme teas. Doesn't where, that make perfect sense? Right, uh, real fine. For those of you who are rock tea lovers and love to enjoy a really deep, thick, next level tea, mm. this is what you have been looking for. I am stoked for this tea. I love this tea at sea level. Here we are 2000 meters high in the Rockies. The kettle is on. We're getting ready to taste this wonderful tea. Yeah. Listen guys, I'm demanding because we're at 2000 meters, by the way, <laughs> we had, I'll admit we didn't walk up 2000 meters, we walked up over 800 meters to get here. You're gonna hit that thumbs up right now. Okay, we earned that one. Please. The optional part is subscribing to our channel. I suggest <laughs> you do so that you can see uh, other great tea adventures that we go on. We do all kinds of tea travel, how to brew, all kinds of stuff. So hit the subscribe and the notify bell so you know whenever we put up a video. I'm not gonna rinse since uh, this is a very, very rare Ooh. tea. Oh my gosh. So we weren't sure about the water Ooh. temperature because of the uh, altitude we're at. I think we're around 2000 meters or a little more. Mm -hmm. But based on the liquor color, I think we did okay. We'll have mm -hmm. to taste it. Oh, still, haha, <laughs> tastes good, please. Oh boy. Oh, oh this is gold. So I choose this uh, raw <laughs> rock tea because now we're in the rock. Rock tea in the Rocky Mountains? Oh, oh man. Yeah, surrounded by literally in the rock, not in the forest and stuff like that. It's easy to find a mini rock tea table like this. And, uh, mm. oh boy. Though the water temperature of the water, this <laughs> freshly boiled water is low. Because yeah. we can sip quite a lot, right? We can sip quite a lot and, and uh, the setting is stunning. The uh, tea is delicious, but a little bit of the depth is missing because the water's a little too cool. Yes, yes, I was but, gonna um, say, it does lose the depth that we are used to right? when we're in uh, at home. But let's face it, kind of. I think the setting makes up for it. It's okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, and the mm. water, the water we're using is from the mountain we're on. Mm. We collected it at a rushing stream earlier. Mm. Um, check out our other video about that trail if you want to see where we collected that water. Yep. Oh man, great brew. <laughs> oh, I love really, this. I really feel like, a, um, how should I say? I like the moment of just doing Gong Fu brewing. Mm. Like it's, in, it's a, like a 50-50 about the tea. Please. Mm. And um, another 50 is the concept of slowing down, enjoying the moment mm. that uh, water and steam does go together when you are having a beautiful view and have a yeah. little Kung Fu brewing. feels more romantic than uh, some other days when we do a little grandpa style. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you agree or not agree, leave the comment below. <laughs> I can't wipe the smile off my face just because of the combination of the setting and the tea. I mean, look. And let us know how you like the background we chose. Ah, I don't know. This smell. 
let's go. The thing I love about Hoi Wen Kang Rogue is that uh, Rogue is uh, typically known as a really bold, uh, powerful rock tea. Um, Hoi Wen Kang has that. Um, Softness, that, that gentle, I think romantic side of yeah, something. Yeah, I was going to say it has that um, dignified manliness. Rather mm. than being overly bold, it has the right level of boldness, but with the right uh, roundness, the right soft, the right sophistication. It has the floral aroma. It has the gentle boldness that you know this is a, stro this is a strong tea, a strong bold tea, but it doesn't have to prove anything. Mm. It's all there. Mm. And I found the second brew has more of that uh, deep, dark mm. chocolate mm -hmm. at the end of the sip. Mm. And mm. I breathe out. Oh. Okay, I can smell a little bit of the flower. I think it's because of what surrounded us. Those mini little flowers. Little mountain flowers all around but us. But it purple. really mingles well with the lingering uh, rock tea smell, huh? Mm. Mm. No, this is a magic moment. What you said about gong fu slowing down the moment and we were just uh trying to make a bit of time on this trail you know we do have to consider things like sunset and whatnot but the gong fu brewing really does give you a little breath a little detox a little a little nudge to say hey you don't need to rush so much everything's going to be okay <laughs> yes yes worst case we're gonna take that uh, 11k walk home but after this i do feel like i can conquer anything Right. Oh. I like the setup too. I have to say it's pretty rare, obviously, that I would sit in front of Jen while she mm. brews. But I kind of, you know, we kind of have to make do. We're in the mountains. We just have rock ledges and a little impromptu tea table here. But I'm really happy with, uh, I, really, I really feel comfy. I feel like I'm in a conversation with all three of you. Yes. Yeah. All three of you? Yeah, I was like, all oh, three all, of us. With all three of us. <laughs> I was like, who is the third one? <laughs> <coughs> the spirit of the mountain. <laughs> yes. Continue on the fourth infusion. Oh, that's a good amount of tea. That was a perfect little amount for that guy one. Yeah, absolutely. You, when you brew rock tea, you really want to make sure you fill the dry leaf of the tea mm. full so that you can enjoy the full body, the depths of rock tea. Absolutely. Mm. Oh. Another great brew. You're nailing it. I don't know. She, Jen is a great brewer. It doesn't take uh, much to do great Gong Fu brewing. You just learn a few tricks. You can check out some of our videos to see more about that. But you're really good at adjusting to, like, first we're dealing with a little bit of that reduced water temperature that we talked about. But I'm checking this out. You're doing a great job. I really think the seam improve anything. But just back to that water temperature comment, mm. I noticed a big difference. Usually, right, this kettle just boiled. Like, a, literally a second ago, it boiled. I take it over, we start shooting. And uh, put that in the guy Cooler, one, huh? and it come out. Mm. My nose can directly, like, put really close to the leaves. There's no issue with the full boiling water. I couldn't do it. The, mm. the steam would give me a little shock in the nose, right? So I don't yeah. know. No, I know what you mean. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to maybe we'll throw it down. If you see it pop up there, then we looked it up at our we'll check our altitude cross reference with the boiling point of water. We'll let you know. But I notice because mm. I'm usually the guy doing the stove, how quick it boiled is ridiculous. Uh, and I overfilled the kettle still popped like shooting steam so quickly. <sighs> This is so nice. So that that aspect I kind of oh, like. Smell this. Of course, you have your cup, I know. But just that lingering. Oh, that's like a, usually I get a pretty big like a brown sugar sweet. This is more like a, a deep baked bread. A yeah, really has that a cream, mm. a thick, oh. delicious cream. Let's check out the lid. With the flower, the, that gentle flower smell. It's yeah, probably the floral not smell, right? a floral. I think that floral I mentioned before is from the tea mm. because when we're not sipping the tea, I smell nothing. Yeah, and all the walk, we didn't notice much from the, uh, from the alpine flowers no. around us. So it probably was the tea. It probably was the tea. Huh? Mm. That, that was a unique or really interesting beautiful. floral I never detected before from this tea. <sighs> 
I'm just really, really loving this moment. I'm, uh, I don't know, people are probably going to leave comments about my crazy smile the whole time, but I can't help it's, it. It's just a... It's stunning. All around us, all and around us. And I look up, I feel like that's moo. Yeah, it's so <laughs> rugged here. It's Not so much silly, snow though. over in this zone. I'm looking over there. That's the little ridge that we just walked at 2530, 2530 meters up there. We're a little lower now. Mm. Over here is a gigantic peak with all kinds of snow fields on it. And we're just surrounded by this, uh, you know, it's the perfect setting for rock tea. Absolutely. <laughs> We're Syn both. Synchronized moan of pleasure. Uh, it's just really relaxing. It's something familiar, but... Especially in such a foreign environment for us. Yes, but also... Slightly different than what we're used to. Right. Uh, like Phil was mentioning, the water we're using now oh. is from the mountain stream here that we collected. It just melted from the ice. Yeah, from an ice field or a glacier. Field, somewhere glacier. Run through a few rocks and then we grabbed it up. Uh, no filtration necessary. Yes. Ultra clean, ultra tasty water. The water itself is really good. Mm. So, and I'd have to say for brewing this tea, two thumbs up minimum. Mm. <sighs> it's gold. What do you prefer? When you are traveling, do you bring expensive tea? Or you mm. save that for a special gathering or holiday, or you feel mm. like you're on the road, I should use a, a low budget because I cannot brew that uh, properly. So I don't know what's your preference. But yeah, let us know how you handle uh, tea and travel. And if you do uh, travel with fancy teas, uh, how do you manage the setup? Do you, make, do you make sure you bring your own water, your own gong fu? Like obviously you're not gonna get gong fu set in a hotel, but even getting a kettle in a hotel can be quite tricky. So let us know what you all travel with. Mm. For yeah. us, when we're preparing this um, uh, rocky trips, I think even though we, we actually have, uh, what, nine days? Like uh, mm. quite a decent <laughs> stay, but I think uh, the most uh, thing that we talk about is about this trail. So yes. for me, yes. that this trail was <sighs> The most expensive tea because this is the yes. moment we plan it for so much yeah. we we talk about it i think it's... we may have peaked out here right. early peaked early but i'm okay with that i mean uh the rest will still be stunning but this is just something uh, it's a moment to remember for sure oh it's hard for me to know i have to wait for hearing slurps then i know there's tea for me <laughs> I have to say, one of my goals is not reached. I really thought I would be able to see some mountain goats or mountain sheep, zero. So hopefully- Zero so far, but check out that video I was talking about earlier. If we saw them, it'll be in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this was the moment I needed. This was the moment I needed just to kind of relax. Um, rest my shoulders. <laughs> Oh yeah, Sam here. And, uh, and just to set up, to take the time in such a strange spot, instead of just walking straight through to have some tea, it was, uh, it was definitely the right call. Mm. I love Gong Fu anywhere. You, if you haven't tried it, you got to try it. Even if you're on a train or a plane, I tell you, it will, it, it will, does transform it will freeze the time. Scene. It'll transform the scene, it makes everything better. Yeah. It's in the realm of those things like chocolate and bacon. <laughs> it makes everything better. I'm going to do a little tea leaf spit. This is totally acceptable. <laughs> you got to do it sometimes, folks. Even with expensive tea. Have more sip. I'm brewing tea here. Look up. He has a big smile. <laughs> I can't erase it. I don't want to erase it, but I realize I probably look super goofy, but I don't care. Who cares? It's really the moment, right? This is something you cannot control. Yeah. If you're wondering what a genuine, a genuine Phil smile looks like, this is it. <laughs> this is not uh, forced. This is not fake. I simply cannot help it. The tea is too good. 
the setting is too good and I'm telling you the company is impeccable. You guys and this lovely lady, my life is great. I think we're gonna continue brew this tea mm -hmm. differently. Oh, good call. Differently. <laughs> because we do have quite a trail ahead and well, this tea can go forever. So mm. far I did seven infusions and that's just nothing mm -hmm. for it. Mm, I'm thinking I might do again. Hey, you can choose. What do you want? Mm -hmm. We can boil water, put this in thermos, mm -hmm. put it or quote unquote co-brew that. Just clear up the thermos, mm -hmm. put the, the leaves so that is not quite done in the cold water. Here's my thought. And you let me know if this is not doable. We have two thermoses. Do both. What do you guys think? <laughs> Too bad you couldn't we're, tell us. We're going to do both. Okay. I think we're going to do both because I, I want to see smart. how the cold brew and how the hot brew thermos work yes, out. Yes. Yes. And this tea is like still very strong. Oh, it's got plenty like, of legs, plenty yeah. of uh, yeah. distance to go. Not saying strong as the strong brew is just. Uh, no, it's got a uh, like normally you know many yeah. teens infusions, if not uh, early twenties at least. Uh, this is really relaxing. And we got a thing like sunset. We're two thousand meters high. We got to get back to the lodge, stuff yeah. like that. Reality still, we have a great moment, but we have to be respectful of the universe, the universal realities. <laughs> Although when I take a smell of that, all of that seems less important. All right, guys, we have to hit the trail again. Uh, this has been a magic moment. Thank you guys for sharing it with us. Uh, if you want to check out a little bit more on how to get the most out of your rock tea. Um, we have a video uh, using Gaiwan grandpa style and be sure to check out that video. Absolutely. And in a link down below, if you want to try out this amazing tea, you can click on that link. It'll take you to our website and you can try some of this top notch pinnacle rock tea. At that location, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. I already told you we climbed over 800 meters to get here, so the thumbs up is absolutely mandatory. If you didn't do what I said uh, right away, get down there right now, hit that thumbs up button. And it will really help out our channel. It will really help out our channel and it will help us realize that you appreciated that grueling climb that we did. <laughs> subscribe, click the notify bell for more amazing tea videos like this. And until next time, guys, keep, keep steeping. steeping. So I chose to do one thermos with hot water, one with cold water. So I'm going to use the blue one for hot because it comes with a little cup and the other one with the cold brew method. Cold brew one, I'm going to put most of the leaves while the hot brew, I'm going to put less as it's hot. Here we Ready go. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's pour that in. So I put about a one third, I think. One third. Beauty. I'm gonna top it. Yeah, that's Perfect. it. Perfect. And two thirds goes to the cold one. So it's, wanna rinse there? Here, just give that a rinse oh, so we get yeah, every, yeah. every little bit of that leaf in there. I'm a little bit greedy, folks. Yeah. Oh, oh. I took the mic off. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna put the, uh, Cold water in. We're ready yeah. for that. Yeah. Oh, it's plenty. It's oh, that's awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Didn't oh, break. Didn't break. Didn't break. Okay. Didn't break. Oh, that's perfect. So cold brew in this one. Don't be good. Yeah. Hot brew here. Awesome. So I'm looking forward. You in the other video. I'm yes. looking forward to trying it. Yes, yeah, so that's called the hook. So better subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Here we go. Ah.